Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Storytime. Today's book is titled Once Upon a Time Online. This book was written and illustrated by David Bedford and Rosie Reeve. Let's begin. Once upon a time, not long ago, a boy named Jack watched a beanstalk grow. He started to climb it, but from somewhere up high, a tightly wrapped parcel fell from the sky. Can you see anything hiding in the tree? I think I can see two different animals. Can you find them? It was a present, thought Jack. He untied the string, and inside he discovered a flat, shiny thing. He found Cinderella with bucket and mop. I know, she declared. It's called a laptop. Cinders threw down her mop, and before Jack could stop her, she became the first fairy tale online shopper. I can do lots of stuff, but the best thing at all, with this laptop's help, I shall go to the ball. Little Red Riding Hood peeked around the corner. I about grow in my cloaks, I could do with some more. She sat down and ordered two red cloaks with hoods and a phone just in case she got lost in the woods. Soon Rapunzel swept in and with her hair piled high, she exclaimed, there is something I just have to buy. The three little pigs dropped in looking for sticks and quickly bought straw and a truckload of bricks. Then the big bad wolf with a huff and a puff pushed his way in and said, that's enough. You've all had a turn, now the laptop's mine and I'm gonna use it for gaming online. Early next morning, hooray, they all cheered for when all of the things they had ordered appeared. Cinderella got ready and went to the ball without needing her fairy grandmother at all. And with the help of her phone and a clever new app, Red Riding Hood set out to follow a map. The little pig's houses were built on the double. Wolf was too busy gaming to cause any trouble. And Rapunzel didn't have to let down her hair. She just turned on her tablet and the prince was right there. So they all lived happily ever after. Until... Cinderella was given a very long bill. Have a look how long that bill is. How much money do you think that bill's going to cost them? Then the three little pigs got bored and started complaining that life was too dull now that Wolf was just gaming. And after Red Riding Hood, busy watching her screen, walked into some brambles that she probably should have seen. Brambles are like thorny bushes. Help, cried Rapunzel from up in her tower. My tablet's not been working for over an hour. And the big bad wolf didn't know what to do when the giant wanted to play on the laptop too. Oh, how I wish we'd never seen a laptop. Someone please, please make it all stop. Suddenly, bing, from out of thin air. Cinderella's own fairy godmother was there. Don't worry, she said. All will be fine, but you must ask a grown-up before gaming online. With a wave of her wand, the bill went away. Fairy godmothers are allowed to use magic to pay. Now, children, she said, you've only just begun to discover online. It's time to have fun. She showed Rapunzel new ways to style her hair. And she finally taught the wolf to share. Wolf said, I guess gaming together is fun, even though Little Red Riding Hood won. 
while Jack and the Giant worked on two screens to make a home movie called Our Magic Things. Now, when going online for something or other, everyone checks first with the fairy godmother. The fairy tale folk are all having just fun living happily ever after online. The end. What a fantastic book. How many characters do you remember from that book? See how many you can count. I can think of the big bad wolf and there were one, two, three little pigs. There was mm, also Cinderella. I've got five so far. See if you can do more than five. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye guys.